Hello and welcome to program 23 in this series of programs and tutorials designed to help you in your easy language programming. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. So today's program is what I've termed is an adaptive moving average. And essentially uh, what we're trying to do is find the moving average that is providing, or at least appears to be providing, support and resistance to price action. So at the moment I've got a uh, single line moving average applied indicator applied to the chart with a certain length. And you can see as an example here that one could argue that maybe this moving average is providing some support to the price action at this point and then of course it's breached here. So what uh, what I'll now show you is the program that I've created and I've called this uh, program 23 show me it's actually a show me study I'm just going to turn that on and I'm going to turn the moving average off and uh, essentially what this program does is for each pivot point it calculates a range of moving averages and then tries to find one which is within tolerance of the pivot point itself either low or high and when it finds the length of that moving average it starts plotting the new moving average until a new uh, pivot is found and then it recalculates to see if there is a moving average which is closer and uh, it does this for both high and low this program is available if you uh, want to download it for a nominal fee and uh, I think it's useful in terms of demonstrating how to make use of a dynamic array as well as various loops um, within the arrays to look for the positions where the moving average is within a user-defined tolerance of the, uh, the pivot that has just been discovered. So if we just quickly look at the inputs what I've done is create an input called start moving average length and end moving average length. This means that the program calculates every single moving average value from the length 10 to 1000. In other words, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And it does this for every single pivot. It then looks and goes through that array, starting with the longest length and seeing if the moving average value at the pivot point is within a user-defined tolerance of the pivot and uh, in this case because we're looking at the e-mini I've set the tolerance to be 0.25 if it then finds a moving average that is within that tolerance of the new pivot it starts plotting a moving average with that length until it finds a new in the case of low pivots a new low pivot then it recalculates and uh, it does the same thing for high pivots but the two are independent and uh, plots the two different moving averages on the chart. In our chart we've got them set up as yellow for low and magenta for the uh, the top. And then left strength and right strength just uh, determine how strong the pivots need to be. So as I say I think the uh, the show me study has got some good lessons in terms of how to use dynamic single dimension arrays and also how to loop through those arrays to find uh, values that are close to another value in this case the pivot value so anyway I hope this program may be useful to you and uh, perhaps something that you could uh, build upon and uh, create more sophisticated show me studies uh, using the same techniques anyway thank you very much